Hello everyone and welcome back to another DaVinci Resolve iPad app tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how you can create subclips on your iPad. First things first, what's a subclip? Well, a subclip is a part of a main clip that you can cut out to use as a separate individual clip. It can be used to organize your footage and make it easier for you to work with. Whether it's for color grading or for cutting, subclips are very useful. Ok, so let's get started. As you can see here, I'm on the edit page and I have a clip here that I want to create a subclip from. So I just select it and here I create an in point, let's say here, and I create an out point, I, let's say here. Once I've done that, I just press on this line and here you can see there's the option create a subclip. I just create a subclip, I can give it a name, subcharge. And now you have uh, this box that you can have toggle on or off. I would advise you to have it toggle on because this will allow you to use information from the total clip on it instead of just having uh, the part that you just created. Let me show you what I mean. So I click create and now it's here on my media pool. If I select it and I bring it here, as you can see, the clip, it's only the part of the, of the biggest clip that I had. This is quite good because it will allow you to have shorter clips to work with and so on. So why did I say that it's better to have that option toggle on? Because look, if I want to here move the clip around, I can do it and I can use all the clip. I can have a subclip with the size that I first decided, but I can still have access to all the clip. If I would create a subclip, uh, let's say sub charge two, and without this toggle on, I will create click, and here it is on my media pool. I'll bring it here to my timeline. You can see that it's the same length, yeah. But look, if I wanna use something from it, I can't, okay? I can do it. That's the difference. I, in this one, I can use everything. And on this one, that's it. I'm locked to the part that I just created. So I would advise you to toggle on that option. So now that you have created your subclip, you can use it as an individual clip and apply various editing tools on it. This can include adding effects, filters and transitions. So you can also add different subtitles and captions to your subclips to make it easier for your audience to follow. Especially, for example, if you work with vertical videos. DaVinci Resolve also makes it easier for you to organize your subclips in a neat and accessible manner. Once you've created your subclips, you can create subfolders to keep them organized. And this is a great feature that saves you time and allows you to easily navigate through your footage. Subclips allow you to work more efficiently and make it easier for you to navigate through your footage. Ok guys, hope you found this video useful, see you at my next video.